certainly glad you could join us today. Today I'm doing an inside activity, unlike those normal outside activities that I normally do. We have all the things that we need to bake a red velvet cake. This is going to be my first and my mom's first. This is going to be our first one made. So follow along and we'll demonstrate to you how and if you don't really have any ingredients to do it, you can just watch. Sit back in the chair, pull up a chair, and watch. Paper, or at least try it with the parchment paper. Okay, so we got our two cake pans here. And you put some parchment paper on the inside and some spray to hope. So hopefully our cake does not stick. Plus, we're waiting for our butter to warm up, but I think I got a good idea. Since it's kind of making my ears kind of warm, I think that. Maybe it can warm up the butter. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding half a cup of butter. It's very buttery. Oh, and I gotta mention, I did wash my hands. If you're cooking too, I mean, I think you should. Very buttery. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and mention that the ingredients that you need to bake along with us are going to be at the end of the video. We've got one and a half cups of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're going to mix these together and then put them in here and then mix them for about four minutes or so. Uh-uh. So next we're going to blend in these eggs, one at a time, that's very important. Combine our flour, cocoa powder, and salt together, and I'm mixing it right now. Alright, so we're going to add some of this that we just made into this, slowly. So, we got our buttermilk, we put some red food coloring in it, and then we're going to put some of this in there, which I've already put some in there, and we're going to just go, keep on going back and forth, back and forth, putting them in until we got all of our ingredients in there. So, I'm going to get some of this in there, some more. some of this um, vinegar and baking soda together and most of y'all will probably know what's going to happen. So, here it goes. Mix that.
Now for the icing. We add 16 ounces of cream cheese, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of confectionate sugar, all together. In a separate bowl, we use one and one fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream and whipped it into a fluffy like consistency. Then blended it into the two together. It's delicious. And then my mom put all the icing in a Ziploc bag. And then we cut the tip, as you can see here. It was a really long process to go through, but right now we're done and it looks absolutely delicious. I just can't wait to get in this. And as you can see, we spr sprinkled some pecans on top of it to make it even better. And we're getting ready to cut a slice and it'll be so good. <laughs> 